Did you know that Walt Disney won 26 Oscars? And he's still making money for the industry even though he's passed away. All of those Oscars should have been solid gold, but they weren't. That's a shame. They should be 20, 26 Oscars. Do you know how much money Walt, Walt, Disney's, Walt Disney has made the industry since he's passed away? His work still carries on. They should be gold. Gathering Hepburn, Z112. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Walter Bogart, and I have an interesting story to tell you. It's about the most coveted award in the motion picture industry, the Oscar. Marcus Graff has decided to meddle in the affairs of the upper echelon of the motion picture industry by posing nude as an Oscar. I am honored that Mr. Scrappy, Mr. Scrap, has brought this story to me so I can bring it to the attention of the American public. Mr. Scrap has a valid complaint and now that he has a complaint, ladies and gentlemen, I have a complaint about the Oscar. Yes, the Oscars will be here next year. They'll come up again, and what's going to happen is they've done in the past. They're going to give the actor a cheap thirteen dollar, eight point five pound hunk of bronze for an individual that has made them billions of dollars. It's an embarrassment to the field and a gross insult to the actors. The Oscars should be solid gold. They only pass out 24 Oscars a year. They only spend $325 for all the statues together. Then they spray paint the statue gold. That's a damn shame. It's called 24 karat gold electroplating. There should be a warning label on the statue. Do not polish because the gold paint will rub off. If you took the statue to a gold store, you get savage value. Bronze, 35 cents a pound. The statues were 2095 cents. The Oscar is supposed to be for the actor's contribution to the industry. And they put in a lot of work. They put in a hell of a lot of work. You have to include the money they have made for the studios. Quite a few actors have, bailed, have literally bailed out companies with their on-screen performances. Literally bailed out some of these companies. The Oscar is separate. From the salary, you can't say that they already already been paid for services rendered. If this was a date, <laughs> if this was a date, you, they would be called one G bastards for only spending two dollars and ninety five cent with billions of dollars in their pocket, made by said actors. After all the actors have done for the industry, the life you live, the mansions, the life and lifestyles you live, maids, butlers, yachts, planes. Uh, houses all over the planet. This is not a proper thank you for their contributions to the industry. Th this is wrong, and the statue should be gold. Why gold? It's a precious metal that lasts a lifetime. The Oscar should outlive time itself. Their work does. Long after they're passed, their work goes on. It continues 
to bring in revenue. You say you are passing out the gold Oscar, but that's it's really the bronze Oscar. The the rest of the Oscar is less than one percent gold pay. It's an embarrassment to the glamorous, lavish, and very lucrative lifestyle that you live when you are prosperous in the film industry. The Oscar should not be worthless. Why? I mean, in here, I I don't know if Bill Cosby ever won an Oscar. If he did, it would be less valuable to collectors at this point, as since he's been sent to the penitentiary for uh, about three and a half years for the crimes that he committed against uh, 67 women. The Oscar is like stock, which rises and falls with the actor's reputation. It does not change the value of what the actor has done for the industry. <laughs> here's, another, here's another thing. The greatest role ever played in Hollywood is the one played by that little statue they call the Oscar. It's not a gold Oscar, but they dressed that piece of bronze up real pretty. <laughs> the Oscar gets an Oscar for fooling the, the public. Uh, quite a few individuals in the, in, in the public for years. Best role ever played in Hollywood. If I was an actor and you presented me that award for my contributions to the industry and I've made you billions of dollars and I found out this was bronze, you couldn't walk on that stage and bring me another hunk of bronze telling me that you appreciate what I've done for you. It's not reflected in the statue that you present to me. It should last forever after the individual has passed away and, and and his work and his efforts and his legend will be carried on with the statues that they presented in the past that's not proper and I can't say that they are not remembered for the work in the industry but for those that would like to have a piece of the life lifestyle uh, the Oscar might not last it might not make it it might be gold. It might be gold when it's made. By the time they polish it a few times, it'll be gold and bronze, and 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 and, and, and that's a shame. It shouldn't be like that. the studio is getting platinum and uranium money from the actors' performance. Afterwards, the studio demonstrates their appreciation by giving the winner a lowly bronze statue. This is an embarrassment to the industry. There was 24 carat, 18 carat, 14 carat, 10 carat, and rose gold. You can't even mix bronze with gold. They come up with gold paint. The Oscar does not reflect, nor did project the skill set that the Oscar winners bring to the table and the results thereof. The Oscar winners are master craftsmen, and you treat them like an apprentice. They have made you millions in the films they won the Oscar in. The Oscar winners role in the additional movies that they played and generated additional revenue for the company. Even though they did not win an Oscar for the additional roles they played in, their performances were still at the master craftsman's level. The additional films still generated a substantial amount of revenue for said company. The Oscar is not an award that you get by competing in a sporting event or athletic competition of some kind. It is an award presented to actors for their work in the industry. A ribbon, plaque, statue, or watch is the same as the bronze Oscar. It is not an appropriate award. Comparing the Oscar's substance to the studio's capital generated by the actor from multiple performances, the gold-plated bronze Oscar projects a substantial in ba balance in value, thought, recognition, and appreciation. Their work is directly tied to the income that is generated from each performance. Marcus Scrapp decided to bear it all for his comrades in the film industry, and I agree with his stance on the fake gold statue. The greatest role ever played in Hollywood was played by Oscar, the bronze statue, who pretended to be gold. <laughs>